Hello everyone. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you the solution for error my CUL shut down unexpectedly. So this is really simple. If I now click on start, it will automatically shut down. So in order to fix it, you just need to go to where you have downloaded your exam. So I have downloaded my XAM pp in my local disk c so i'll go to my local disk c then here you can see you have the xampp folder so i'll just go inside the xampp folder then inside the same folder you need to look for the mysql folder so here you can see mysql folder so i'll just go inside and inside mysql here you can see we have a folder called tata so first of all, we're going to rename this folder. So I'll just right click and then click on this rename option. Let's say the new name will be Tata underscore old. So right now we're going to create a folder called Datus. So let me just right click here, then click on new and then I'll click on folder. So the folder name will be data. So that's why we rename this to data old. So right now we'll go inside this data old folder and I'm going to copy some folder from here. So I'll just copy all the folder, just copy all the folder except those four folder test, PCMI admin, power schema, and MySQL. Except those four folder copy every folder, then just go down and here you can see we have one more file here called IB data on. So just press on control, then click on it, and this will be selected. After that, just press control C or just right click, and then here you can see the copy option. So I'll just click on it and it will be get copied so after that just go back and whatever we just uh, just paste it inside this data folder that we just created so control V or just paste it here there Here you can see so after that let's go back again then we need to go to this backup folder so just double click on the backup folder and I'm going to copy everything from here except this on file called IB data on. So I'll just copy this then go back. Then we'll go inside that data folder and then we'll just paste whatever we just copied. So I just right click and then click on paste and there you can see we have four new folder and some files here. So right now let's just minimize this and let's go to our XAMPP. Let's just close this. Let me just search over here XAMPP control panel click on it and right now if I click on Apache they can see it got started and if I now click on MySQL start it got started properly. So this how you can solve your issue. MySQL shut down unexpectedly. I hope this was easy for you. Make sure to subscribe and I hope to see you in the future tutorial.